Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are fine. Today our lecture is related to chapter 3 which is SATS and this is your book New Syllabus Mathematics 2 and let me tell you that this is your new book which is uh, in new book it's chapter 3 but in old book it's chapter 14 and in new book it's page number 66. Okay G. And not 66, it's 68. Okay and in old book it's page 397 where 14 is given. And in new book, it's page is exercise 3A. So we'll say that this is exercise 3A. I'm going to explain you question number one. Before starting the lecture, I would request you that kindly subscribe this channel if you want more help regarding your subject. All right, question number one is if B is the set of odd positive integers less than 10. List all the elements of B in set notation. Okay, I'm going to do part A. Okay, G. Integers are negative and positive. So, but here it's mentioned that write down the positive integers. And with positive integers, it's also written that write down odd positive integers. So, it means that you have to write the odd integers. And odd integers are 1, 3, 5, 7, like this. Okay, they are saying that write down all the elements of b in set notation okay i'm going to write the elements of b in set notation and elements of b b is representing the set of odd positive integers which are less than 10 you know that integers are starting from one and one is also an odd integer so one three five is an odd integer seven nine Yes, I will not write 11 because they are saying that less than 11. So, your answer will be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So, this is your answer of part A. These are the positive. Here you can see that there is no sign with them. It means that these are positive. And these are the odd integers. And they are less than 10. In part B, they are saying that state whether each of the following statement is true or false. Okay, I am going to do B part. Here 1 is an element of B. Here you can see that 1 is present in this set. I have uploaded the video in which I have explained practice now and I have explained you the concept of this element of and element of not and the number of sets. So you can watch that video to get this concept. Okay, in part uh, B they are saying that 1 is an element of B. 1 is an element of B means that 1 is present in set B. Here you can see that 1 is present in set B. So in this statement is True. This is an, one is an element of set B. Okay, G. Now let's come to part 2. They are saying that 4 is not an element of B. Here, here you can see that 4 is not present in set B. So we will say that this statement is also true. True. 4 is not an element of B. So this statement is also true. Okay, G. In part 3, they are saying that 0 is an element of B. Here you can see that in set B, 0 is not present. But they are saying that 0 is an element of B. 0 is not an element of B. So we will say that this statement is false. Okay, G. let's come to fourth part. In fourth part, 11 is an element of B. They are saying that 11 is an element of, is not an element of B. Here you can see that 11 is not present in this set. So, it's not an element of B. So, this statement is also true. I hope that question number 1 is clear to you. Okay, G, now I'm going to explain you question number 2. Okay, G, question number 2 is state the number of elements in each of the following sets. Okay, part A, months in the year. Hey, you can know that, you know that there are 12 months. So, we'll write it's 12. Number means that you have to count the numbers of the set. So, months in the year means that you have to write the months uh, of the year. And when you will count them, you will get that it's 12. The numbers are, the number is 12. There are 12 months. Odd numbers between 10 and 26. Now, you have to write the numbers and then count odd numbers between 10 and 26. Okay, G. Let's write in rough work. Okay, G. So, uh, between... Odd numbers between 10 and 26. So, it will be 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21 and 23, 
and 25. Now count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So number is 8. So we'll say that number is 8. There are 8 numbers. There are, odd, there are 8 odd numbers between 10 and 26. Okay. C part will do it yourself. D part will do it yourself. Okay. Now let's come to E part. Colors of a rainbow. You know that there are 7 colors of a rainbow. So the number is 7. Okay, now F part, horoscope signs, you know that there are 12 months. So there are 12 horoscope signs. So this is your answer. Okay, now let's come to question number 4. Question number 4 is list, uh, list the elements of the following sets. Okay. Okay, question number 4 is list the elements of the following set. Basically, you have to write the, write the elements and uh, they are given in the descriptive form you have to write in the center notation vowels in the word mathematics okay vowels so the vowels are a e i o u and in mathematics the vowels are a e and i okay G. now let's come to b part the seven colors of the rainbow you know that the seven colors are red orange and uh, yellow, green, and tell me more colors which are in the rainbow. And it's blue, indigo, and violet. Blue. It's blue, indigo, and violet. So these are the seven colors of the rainbow. Okay, G. now let's come to next part and multiples of 9 which are less than 50. Okay, you have to write the multiples of 9s uh, which are less than 50. Okay, come go on the table of 9. Yes, 9. Nine ones are 9 and 2s are 18 and 3s are 27. 4 are 36, 9 5 are 45, 9 6 are 54. It will be greater than 50. So we will stop here because they have said that write down the multiples of 9 which are less than 50. So I will not move forward because these are the multiples which are less than 50. Okay, now let's come to E part. I will not do it D part. This is your, uh, you can do it yourself. Okay, now let's come to E part. Even numbers which are between 10 and 20. So you have to write down the even numbers between 10 and 20. See, so the even numbers will be, okay, after 10 it will be 12. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 and I will not write 24 because that would be greater than. They are saying that write down the even numbers between 10 and 26. So these are the even numbers between 10 and 23. I hope that this concept is clear to you. Alright, now let's come to question number 5. Okay, G. State whether each of the following collection is a well-defined set. Give a reason for your for each answer. Okay, G. In part A, they are saying that a pupils in my class who have two brothers. Okay, let me tell you that what is well-defined. Well-defined meant that the number that you can count and it's cleared that you can count the numbers, a clear number. So that is a well-defined set. Okay, G. A pupils in my class which has who has uh, two brothers. Here you can count there 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 will be many students will be having um, two brothers okay and you can count those students so it means that you can count those students it's a well-defined number so we will say that this is a well-defined set so we'll say yes okay now let's come to b part a people in my class who is shy i cannot find out that who is shy a student can be shy i cannot be shy this is not a well-defined thing uh, we cannot count the number that we who is uh, we cannot count the students who are shy shy is something it's a habit it's not a number so we'll say that this is not a well defined set let's come to see part a tv actor who is well liked by my classmates okay, there can be many actors okay uh, and uh, choices vary from one student to the other students and uh, we cannot count uh, we, this is not a well defined there will be uh, many students who like different actors okay and um, it's not specified that there is only one actor who is liked by all the classmates 
So if it's not well defined, so we'll say that no, this is not a well defined set. D part, a dish well liked by my family members. It's not possible that there, it's not possible that there is only one dish which is liked by all the family members. It's not specified. So we'll say that this is also a not well defined set. Uh, in well defined set, things should be specified. Then you can say that these are the well defined sets. Okay, now let's come to E part. A textbook to use in my school. Yes, this is specified. There is only textbook uh, which is used in your school. There, uh, it can be Oxford. It can be the any other book. So we'll say that this is a specified thing. So when the things are specified, when the objects are specified, we'll say that these are the well defined sets. We'll say that yes. Now let's come to F part. Okay, G. Now in F part, they are saying that the most attractive actor in Hollywood, there can be many actors. It's not specified that there's only one actor which is attractive. So the things are not specified over here. So we'll say that this is not a well-defined set. So we'll say no. I hope that you like today's lecture. And if you want more help regarding your subject, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. And uh, Allah Hafiz.